Are you and your spouse mutually considering getting divorced? Are you able to civilly and politely discuss your financial situation together? My name is Laura Hurd, and I'm an attorney who has practiced family law in San Antonio since 1987. Do you know what you should and should not talk to your spouse about in discussing divorce before you talk to your attorney? Well, first of all, you should not talk to your spouse about how you're going to divide up all your property because those things are the things that your attorney will help you with. And many times people come into my office with misconceptions about what they're entitled to and what uh, is part of the community property that should be divided. But what you should talk about is getting together your financial documents so that each of you has a realistic idea of what debts and assets you own. You need to get copies of your uh, pay stubs. And a lot of times these things are just done digitally these days. So you need to get physical paper copies. You may have to print them yourselves, make photocopies, and make sure both spouses have copies of both spouses' pay stubs for the last three months. Both spouses need copies of your tax returns for the last two years, including all the W-2s. You need to get copies of your mortgage statement showing how much you owe on your house currently and a copy of your tax appraisal showing how much your house is currently worth as well as get a copy of your credit report and your spouse's credit report, copies of retirement statements from your 401k, and car loan documents to show how much you still owe on your vehicles. These kinds of documents are the things that you will need to show your lawyer to make sure that the property is divided equally and fairly between the two of you. So gather up all those documents and both of you get a photocopy of it. Then you need to talk realistically about a budget. Each of you needs to think about how you're going to live separately based on your separate income and talk about who's gonna pay which bills while the divorce is pending. Who's gonna pay the mortgage? Who's gonna pay the car payments? Who's gonna pay the utility payments if you're living separately? And if you are the one who wants to keep the house, can you realistically afford to pay the mortgage yourself on just your income? Y'all need to talk about whether or not one of you is gonna be left financially destitute after divorce if you don't have some spousal support afterwards. My name is Laura Hurd, and I hope that these are things that you think about and discuss with your spouse and make sure that you get documentation.